so I just got to Nancy's house. I'm planning on sneaking up on her. I'm in her backyard right now and I don't think she knows. Sneaking up right behind the door. That's it? All I get is a so creepy? Your face is glowing like a white ball of light. Ow. And uh, we just got here and the movie's about to start and I need to get my shake and uh, That's what it's gonna be like, so thank you for turning the camera on. Thank you. <laughs> I don't like you sometimes. I like you all the time, so. That was some bullshit for the camera. You've never <laughs> said that in your life. So what are we doing? We're gonna go see a Korean movie? No. It is! It's not Korean. What is it? It's Japanese. Are you serious? I am almost positive. Do you know what she just said? <laughs> Can you repeat it for the camera? <laughs> no, the I camera wasn't to, thinking. To point at your face. I wasn't thinking. She said, oh, I've never seen a Japanese movie before. It's cool. <laughs> Shut up. I didn't know it was going to be 90 degrees today. So that right there is annoying. Also, I drank two cups of coffee and I ate curry for lunch today at work, so that's kind of self-explanatory. And I just feel like a jittery, sweaty, gross, like, earthworm. And I'm just excited to get into a cool theater and get my shake. That's right, stand right there in the flower bed. We'll get the shot like this. Alright, so it's really loud out here. We're right outside of the, the freeway with all the traffic. And we're at the Alamo Draft House. So. What do you expect from this movie? It should be funny, right? Speak up, please. It's it's loud out there. It should be funny. I think it will be. In fact, it is funny because I've already seen the movie. No! Just to reiterate, we are going to go see One Cut of the Dead. It's finally hitting U.S. theaters in some sort of wide, limited release, I guess. But it's playing only tonight, so we're very lucky to be here. No, this is just a still image. I've uh, had the great opportunity to have already seen this film, but I watched it on an airplane. I didn't know what it was when I watched it, but I loved it. I thought it was fantastic. Now here we are at a movie theater about to watch it. I really want to get like a physical ticket. Let's see if they can print actual tickets. It'd be really great to have a physical ticket for this one. Alright, so we're in the theater now. We got our physical tickets. They're just kind of like crappy receipt paper, but, you know, it's whatever. <laughs> Can I follow you in there? Oh my god, I'm trying to get a cool shot, but you're taking forever. just saw one cut of the dead for the first time. Yeah. Do you like it? I loved it. Yeah, it was so super funny. surprising, isn't it? Yeah. You, yeah, like you don't I don't want to say too much cuz most people haven't seen it. Yeah. So I don't really want to spoil anything, but it's just like so unexpected and it has some heart to it. It's cute, it's fun, it's it's gory, you know, and it's super inventive. It's very well thought out. Yeah, like it is complicated. And what did you say the budget like yeah, it's reported around between 10 and 25,000 is what I've heard. That's crazy. It looks very well shot. Yeah. And like, I don't know. And there's so many people involved. So yeah. many actors, mm -hmm. crew filming everything, effects, makeup. Watching like the end. There's a kind of a cool thing at the end it's credits. Like behind the scenes. Like a, yeah, behind the scenes sort of end. thing. Yeah. It's very interesting. I uh, hope that it comes to the U.S. for like streaming soon. I don't think it's fully available in the U.S. yet, but I, I really hope it gets a Blu-ray release soon. If you've heard of One Cut of the Dead or you're interested in it at all, do everything you possibly can to see it because like the guy said at the introduction of this movie, he said that he's been trying to get it at this theater for a year because it's just been floating around festivals and it hasn't had any big releases. So hopefully we're finally at the end of it and then it will and be released. And it's like released. one of the biggest, he said it was like one of the biggest movies in Japan right now, something like that. He said that as far as like indie 
Japanese indie movies go, it's the biggest success with like 25 million at the box office. I wonder how like what the director thought when he like like it was such a low budget film and then all of a sudden it just it's like, like blew explodes up and now yeah. he's like rich. <laughs> <laughs> what I hope is that because of the success of this movie, he has the opportunity to make more cool things like this because obviously he's talented. He directed, wrote, and edited the movie. Same with the actor. I love the main he, actor, he the director guy. Yeah. The, the actors were awesome. All the actors are very good. For like a low budget film, sometimes you get like kind of cheaper actors. Uh, I wanted to ask some people at the end and get their reactions on camera, but I was just kind of too like embarrassed to ask, get some different perspectives. But overall, the reception was really warm for this movie. I think everyone really liked it. We're gonna get out of here. Um, I, I'm sure the wind is just destroying this right now, but I'm really glad to have seen it again. I'm glad Nancy saw it and liked it. And like I said, y'all should see it if you have the chance. So thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. Please hit that subscribe button and I'll see you later.